Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be discussing home invasions and defense against them. And they are no joke. They can happen in so many ways and so many scenarios. A lot of the times you see on uh, cameras or security cameras, a woman stands there as decoy or bait and you open the door and then three or four guys rush in and... Uh, sometimes it's just one person your only option in these scenarios is to be brave you can't go anywhere and trust me a lot of the times it can pay off and when it comes to weapons people say uh, you know it's useless or whatever but here we're talking about increasing the likelihood of survival so let's get to the footage so you can see uh, a woman on her phone and she's on the couch uh, television noises in the background and when all of a sudden uh, an armed assailant uh, will appear out of nowhere look she's just scrolling on her phone like it's nothing again this can happen to anyone and uh, here, here all of a sudden a big shotgun the guy just comes in rushes in grabs the barrel points it away, uses the rotating lever in order to uh, try to disarm. Of course, it's not going to go down without a fight. <laughs> the assailant even does an accidental uh, inner reap, but he kept holding on to the barrel, hugging it tightly because he knows that if he hugs it, he will be safe and eventually the armed assailant runs away and the girl maybe call, goes and calls the cops. I don't know what happens, but here you see uh, Hannah Gracie is teaching you how to do this little, you know, rotating lever and prying it out of the assailant's hand. And you can even use leg uh, techniques to finish it. And of course, body strikes. And uh, again, it's all about that lever to pry it out and exactly what the young man did i don't know if he has some type of training but it seems very instinctual to grab the barrel and point it away from you trying to use that lever very much like when we used to play with sticks as kids and trying to take it away from the other kid we just wave it around trying to pry it open um, so uh hanner gives an example where he can use a ko soto gake and here the minor outer hook and uh, it can help if you are you know really struggling with the gun and the gun can be used instead of the grips you see here especially if it's a big barrel also you have the small gun but also uh, other types of leg techniques can be also useful like the major inner reap uh, can also be very beneficial to get you down with them and on top of them um, so all this situational awareness etc are very good uh, but again in those cases your only option is to be brave now let's get to the gun disarm or knife defense whatever that a lot of people just tend to mock and disregard goshinjutsu uh, has many types of gun disarms and uh, in my opinion they're not useless again the whole point of these is to increase your chance of survival it's not about being the dominant and uh, making it look like an action movie it's not it's real life and uh, oftentimes whether you know it or not a lot of people use toy guns uh, to trying to rob a convenience store the guy that was shot i believe in texas was trying to rob a restaurant and then um, a customer who was armed actually shot him um, he was holding a toy gun so and also there's the the saying of the sword in the hand of the coward is useless something like that so your only option is to be brave and go for it you never know can you get hurt obviously can you get killed even yes but you never know and when your life depends on it and the life of your family depends on it being brave is your only option and uh, so the general consensus is run away give them your wallet go home and cancel your credit card this is beyond ridiculous they're in your house what do you do
you, you can't run away. That's just simply and logistically impossible. Your only chance is to fight just like that young man. He knew that it was all or nothing and he probably didn't think. He just grabbed that barrel and uh, tried to fight it. And uh, if you can hear, if you saw what was written on the bottom of the screen, um, he, he's really brave and even taunting the assailant. So really, these things are not to be you know, taken lightly. Uh, gun disarm and defense drills like this, doing it frequently and quickly and evolving in them is very important. There are no black belt techniques. There are only techniques done at black belt level. The goal is to increase the likelihood of survival. It's not about, you know, looking like the school superhero. Let me tell you a little story. The next door neighbor, just, you know, we're separated by, by a wall and um, she's not even 150 centimeters or a meter and a half. And she was telling once the story that um, she was in her old apartment and there was no double walls and this modern buildings like we have today. And she was sleeping, it was summer. And you know that phase where you're in the middle of sleep, you don't know if you're asleep or awake. And uh, she, she saw a hand trying to reach for the phone next to her. And then she looks and she's like, hey, who are you? And he was holding her laptop uh, under his armpit. And he was like, oh, it's nothing. Go back to sleep. Like very calmly says that. She wakes up. She freaks out. And she goes after him. Again, a very small woman goes after him. He runs out. Luckily, like the police was there right outside uh, in the neighborhood. And they caught him. So again, in these scenarios, no matter who you are, your only option is to be brave. And also, I don't mean to go, you know, full manhood on you, but if you have your wife and your kids and, and you run away and you and you crumble uh, immediately like this, it's not going to look good for anyone. They're probably going to get hurt. They're probably going to be uh, really disappointed in you. And uh, while you could have fight fought, but, you know, there's no shame in dying defending your family in fact it's the greatest way to go out or one of the best ways to, to go out from this world so if you cower and you run away they, they won't look at you the same way ever again so that's also very very important and um, if you have anything else to add please let me know down below consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content this was shady and thank you for listening